Today I'm sharing what I eat in a day to get 100 grams or more of protein while at Universal Studios. I'm currently on my postpartum weight loss journey. At this point, I have about like three to four more pounds I'm looking to lose. So hitting enough protein in a day is really crucial for my body recomposition goals. And even while I'm at Universal Studios, I'm still gonna make sure I hit my protein. It just helps to reduce hunger, helps to reduce sugar cravings, and helps to maintain muscle mass and metabolism. So I'm gonna take you guys along, show you what I eat in a day to get 100 or more grams of protein. But first, I'm just starting off with some coffee. I just have regular coffee with nut pods. I'm actually going to be bringing something for the car ride for me to have for my break fast or first meal. I've been following about a 14 hour intermittent fast lately. So my first meal will be at roughly 8.30, which is when we'll be in the car. So we're at my parents' house right now because they live closer to Universal Studios. And I pre-packaged and brought with me protein waffles, so I'm going to be throwing these in the toaster. This is my super simple protein waffle recipe. Each protein waffle has about 13 grams of protein, so I have two of these, plus I top it with skier. Skier is a much higher protein yogurt. It's even higher than Greek yogurt, so I use the Siggy's brand, and I top about like a quarter to a half cup. I think I'm gonna do a half cup today, and that'll give me a little over 30 grams of complete protein, which my protein waffles, so good. <laughs> use my zero sugar vanilla protein protein powder right here. That was specifically designed to make really amazing, delicious recipes. In fact, if you guys wanna check out the specific recipe for my waffles, I've shared it recently on my YouTube channel. You can check it out, I'll have it linked right up here. So good. Literally, we batch these out, we make like 40 of them every week because Trevor makes them. He has four a day, I have two a day. And then that way, all we have to do is pop them in the toaster like I'm gonna do right now and add our toppings and we're good to go. Probably would help if I plugged it in. <laughs> there you go. Which speaking of toppings, I'm also going to be putting on some sauteed blueberries. It's like one of my favorite hacks to keep the sugar content low. It's such a better replacement than just like putting on maple syrup or some other type of sweetener because as you cook it down, it does get like a little juicy and like sweet. It's so good. So I'm going to top my toaster protein waffles with the skier to get over 30 grams of protein. I think it's like 31 grams of protein. And then I'm going to top that with some blueberries. And we'll bring that on the road. <laughs> Sage is already in her outfit. Yeah, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> up with the lower lot rides. It is 12, 16. 12, 16. So we're going to head back up and grab some lunch. We're going to go to like the Harry Potter area because they by far have the best lunch. Lots of protein. Taking the stairs. I think it's like a quarter mile <laughs> upstairs. Okay, so we're going to three broomsticks. Broom we're going to three broomsticks because I scouted it in advance, and it's by far has the most protein bang for your buck. So we're headed there. So they have the English holiday dinner. They have shepherd's pie, bangers and mash. This is the great feast I was telling you about. Which one are you getting? Um. Maybe this, the herb roast chicken platter. I don't know, I might get two things. I'm so hungry. Literally got the machine. So Trevor ended up getting the great feast, which had turkey, kind of like your traditional Thanksgiving style dinner with, I think that was like a sausage wrapped in bacon. So a lot of protein there. And then I got the roast chicken platter, I believe it was. 
So this was like a half chicken. It was actually a substantial amount of protein that helped keep me feeling so full and so satisfied. Definitely the best bang for your buck if you're looking to get a lot of high protein food when at Universal and also tasted amazing. Oh my gosh, like this was actually so incredibly satisfying. They didn't have any nutrition facts or anything for this meal, but just from a guesstimation, I would say this was probably about six ounces total of chicken. So it was around 50 grams of complete protein from this meal alone. And then the ambiance of three broomsticks, not sure if you guys have been there or not sure if you're a Harry Potter fan, but is so spot on. Like I could have just hung out there all day. So I told my dad to get this for the protein. Hey, listen. <laughs> you got the shepherd's pie? Shepherd's pie. Mashed potatoes it's, and a little bit of meat. It's good, but not, not nearly as much protein as this. This chunk of or that one. This meal obviously wasn't perfect. I would have rather swapped out those starchy potatoes for Trevor's Brussels sprouts that he had with his meal, but really ultimately when it comes to traveling, it's about making the best decisions possible based on your situation. And when at Universal Studios, there's not a ton of customization. So I chose the option that had priority, the highest amount of protein. Okay, so that was actually like perfectly satiating, so satisfied, right? Oh yeah. Like that was actually good about oh, protein. Belly. We got food, back to the rights. Best thing to do after lunch? Go on some roller coasters. Another ride. <laughs> Decided to not have dinner in the park mostly because it's cold and we want to get home so we're just going to pick something up on the way we're going to be grabbing some burgers and calling it in and picking it up to bring back to the house okay so we ordered these burger bowls where it comes with this like salad portion Trevor got a double patty burger with an egg on top I got the same thing but as like the burger bowl yeah so here's mine has the double patty, the egg, shallots, and then the salad that goes along with it. Ooh, Brussels sprouts, so good. So with the double burger, each one of these is a quarter pound. So that's going to be about like 50 grams just from the burger. And then the egg, that's another six, that's 56. Coming in at well over 100 grams of protein for today. We're gonna smash this right now. Okay, it's the next day, we just got home, but I wanted to add in a little something that I didn't get to when we we're at the parks. And it's that I already had the restaurants that we were going to go to planned. Now the plan did change because we ended up going home a little bit earlier. We wanted to just get back and get Sage to sleep. So we had to choose a restaurant that was more local to my parents' house. But I had planned out our lunch at three broomsticks because in advance I had done the research to find what had the best menu, which place actually had the highest in protein. But then for dinner, I had a couple of options planned and I already knew what I was going to be getting off the menus if we actually went to those, which we didn't. But the two I was looking at, I think was like La Cocina. Yeah, Cocina Mexicana, which was actually in the park if we ended up having dinner inside of the park. And then I also picked an option if we were there past the park closing. And that was the NBC Sports Grill, which is on the Universal Walk. I had already looked in advance at both of these menus, saw that they had really high protein options, each one coming to about 60 or 50 or 60 grams of complete protein. Whenever you're traveling, especially if you're looking to eat enough protein or structure meals that are going to still support your goals while you're out on a vacation or a holiday, the best thing to do is to look in advance at your options and see what will best serve your goals while also still tasting great. Because as you saw when I was at Three Broomsticks, it was an amazing meal. <laughs> I very much thoroughly enjoyed it. So it's not like you can't choose things that are going to support your goals behind protein that also taste great. It just does require a little bit of prep in advance, which honestly I kind of find really fun because it gives me extra time to like plan for my vacation, get excited about the things that we're going to be experiencing. And then having those multiple backup plans or knowing how you can adjust your meals dependent on where you're going is really crucial too. Just like what I did last night where I did have two options for dinner
dinner, but then I was still able to adjust my meal because we changed plans. Now, if you are trying to eat higher protein to help you achieve your weight loss or wellness goals, it's really important that you actually know what high quality proteins are. So make sure you check out this video next for those details. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.